Hi, good evening. Um, I'm jumping on just uh, about a minute early tonight. Just make sure everything's working as it should. It is Wednesday, November the 18th. Boy, time just flies. So I'll just give it a minute and then I'll get started. Hi, Maureen. Thanks for joining. So Bill has given me the thumbs up. Everything looks good from his side. So we'll go ahead and get started. Tonight, we're going to look at freezing fun. This is out of the holiday catalog. That holiday catalog will be going away at the end of December. But I needed a few more Christmas cards. So these are some of the ones that I made. I just had such fun coloring these little animals. Life's better when having fun together. Sending warmth your way. This one I really like. It's the little seal. Now this one I did pull in the itty bitty Christmas uh, stamp set. I wanted lots of love at Christmas out of that one. So I colored all of these with um, the blends. This one is actually a gift card holder. So it has a little gift card that you can put in there, some more trees on the side celebrating the season and some rhinestones. And both of these were made with the paper out of the heartwarming hugs that's in the um, holiday catalog also. And then this one, I just thought was so much fun. This one, um, this paper is, this is Night of Navy. This paper is Seaside Spray. And then I pulled out, it's one of their retired mat, masks, stencil, um, that had some clouds on it. And then I just sponged some seaside spray on there. This paper is from In That Good Taste DSP that I really like. And I thought it looked like snow. So I cut it with the curvy die, colored those little penguins in, the stamp set, and then tis the season to be freezing. Um, so this evening we're going to make the gift card holder. You know, the holiday season is coming up and if you want to give gift cards, this is a great way to put them in the mail and give them or stick an envelope under the tree. So let me pull in, put this off to the side. Let me pull in my scoring Blades. So first thing we're going to start with is we're going to start with a piece of, car this is cinnamon cider. It is 11 by four and a quarter. I'm going to put it in a score and I'm going to do the typical score at the five and a half as we normally would to make a card. But then I'm going to come over here and I'm also going to score at nine inches. Hi, Barb. So... We'll take this off of here. I'll move this out of the way. So we're going to burnish our edges. Let me, before I do that, I always like to make sure that I square that up. So this is a quick, easy way to make those gift card holders. All right. So we folded it in half and then we folded that under. So that gives us our card base. Now, I have two pieces of DSP. This is going to go on the outside of the card. It is four by three and a quarter. So we'll glue this one on. This is out of the uh, Forever the Flower DSP. I have it written down here, flowers for every season. Which was really nice because this to me looks very fallish or Christmassy with the pine burrows and the green. And this is in the shade of just jade. This piece is four by one and three quarters. And we're just going to put that on the inside of the flap. 
spring on one side. I'm using it for winter on the other. Okay. I need some tearing tape. Oh, that's just put a little dab of glue under there. All right. So now I have my inside of the card. Again, I pulled in um, Itty Bitty Christmas for my greeting. Lots of love at Christmas. I just like how that looks. So we are going to put this down on the inside of our card. And I stamped this ahead of time um, with this, also with the cinnamon cider. So, so far we're doing good here. Here are my pieces that we're going to bring in. For the inside, right here, I do want this big tree. So we're gonna put this. Now I colored these with the blends also. I Coloring is so much fun. So I thought I would wait and do this one while everybody was on. So I'm actually just going to use the Just Jade. We have the light and the dark. So I'm gonna start with the dark and just sort of do some dark shading in there. This is a little tree. And then I'll bring in the light. Go back over that to blend it. These alcohol blend markers just make it so easy. I think the reason I've always liked Stampin' Up! is because it does all the coordination for me, the inks, the paper. So this one, I'm going to put a dimensional on it and pop that up since that is actually outside of the card. Set that there. Now we'll build the front side of our card. So this was uh, the scallop dies and then this was the stitch die. Now I wanted a little shadow behind so I cut out an extra one and I just sort of traced it with the gray marker because I wanted my little guy to pop off the paper. So here's my little guy, my little raccoon. Again I colored him with the blends and so yeah probably put a lot of dimensionals on here but I don't want him to get squashed because this little guy will go in the mail. We'll get all the backs off. So and then I filled in around here that way if I didn't get him down perfect as I had when I did the tracing he still has enough to pop off of that. So then I'm going to mount this onto my background and then I'll bring in a few more dimensionals and we'll pop this one up. All right. Whoop. I had so much fun coloring these. I have to tell you that you have to see this. These are all the ones that my wonderful supportive demo has been cut out for me. So I can continue to make some cards and color them. All right, one more. So we're gonna take this little raccoon and we're gonna put him right here in the middle. I just think he's so adorable. And then I decided another sentiment that I wanted to bring in was out of Merry and Bright, or Peace and Joy. I always want to say Merry and Bright. Peace and Joy, and I did the Merry Christmas. And so I'm gonna pop this up also. I'll just put these on here. And again, this was with that um, There we go. Now, let's not forget about where we're going to put our card. So I 
brought in just a punch that I have here. This one happens to be um, a scalloped punch. You can use a punch, you can use a circle die. I figure this will just make it a little easier to pull that card out. And then I'm gonna use the tear and tape. I want this to be stronger than just glue since I will be sliding a card in and out of there. Just take a piece of this tape, put it close to the edge. And we'll see here. Pull that up. And then I'll take my giant eagle card out of my other one. And there we go. We slide that right in there. And I do have some um, enamel dots here. These are the in colors that match this card. So I could use the cinnamon or I could use the green. And I think I'm going to pull in the green. Let me see if I can get off this. Boy, they do not want to come up today. Yeah, I like that green. Oh, they're sticking to me. And then we'll put one over here by our little raccoon. And there we go. A cute little gift card holder. So these are, again, from Freezing Fun. Let me clean up my mess here. And we had these two that were gift card holders. We had our little penguins that were snowboarding and just having fun. I love that sentiment that's just wee. And then the little bunny. I just think these guys are so cute. So those are our cards this evening. But before I let you go, I have to show you a... Um, was able, I went to the on stage, which is the convention for Stampin' Up! And that was the first week of November. And when you go to on stage, then they introduce you to the new catalog that will come out in January. And I just love it. I can only show you the front of the cover right now. We're not allowed to open the catalog and preview the inside until it's released in January. So, but I did, I can show you some items that I was lucky enough to get an order. And this is one set. It's called the Art Gallery. And it comes with dies. And one of the dies in this set is Just Want to Say. And it's in big, bold cursive. And a beautiful embossing folder. These stamps are just beautiful. They're the ones that you're going to do multiple stamping. And so I saw um, I'll be doing some of these in December to get you excited about what's coming out in January. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did the dragonflies and I loved the dragonflies so much. Well, now this um, partners with that dragonfly set. This is called Garden Wishes. And again, it comes with some dies. I just, I can't wait to put those two together and play with them. They are just gorgeous. This one, um, I got in my onstage box. When you go to onstage, um, this year it was virtual, so you could sign up whether to get a swag box or not. I decided to get that box. The stamp set was in it and a beautiful um, tote. So enjoy the moment. These are different seed pods. And again, this was demonstrated and they are just beautiful. I just got my order this week, so I haven't gotten to play with them yet. This one though, I am so excited about. This is Many Messages. And if you look at it, it is so many different sentiments. Be strong, be brave, you've got this. Just a card to say hello. So happy to hear of your exciting news. Happy anniversary. But what I love about it is it's one large stamp set. Put this in the Stamparatus, ink it up. That way you can stamp it multiple times if you need to. But what is a must with this one is then the die. The die goes over top of this 
and it cuts out all those sentiments. So for somebody like me, sometimes I'll make cards, but I don't really put anything on them. And so now I'll have a stash of sentiments pre-cut. I was so glad to see that they came out with this. This next one is so adorable. It's handsomely suited. It's uh, have a happy Father's Day, handsome, a happy birthday, world's greatest dad. And then these are the dies. And so these are so cute when they make them. You can make like a V-neck sweater. You can make a lapel. There's suspenders, um, bow ties. So looking forward to using those on a card too in the upcoming. And then also what we have, these are called um, Dandy Laser Cuts. They come very well packaged, um, and they're just beautiful. These go with the um, dragonflies and that garden. Hopefully you can see those okay. They're very delicate, so I don't want to pull them apart too much. This is, I haven't even opened it. Like I said, I just got this order. Let me open this. This is the paper that goes with Well Suited. It's uh, Basic Black, Basic Gray, Cajun Craze, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Poppy Parade, and Smoky Slate. So let's, oh, I love it because there's always the two sides to the paper and we get to look at these together. Oh, I love these. I will tell you, when I saw a demo on this, and remember I was showing you the dies where one is like a V-neck for a cardigan? I think you could do that for a women's sweater also in a pretty um, top underneath. So I don't think it has to be strictly for men, but these papers are gorgeous. I love those great colors and those blues and grays. Okay, this is paper from the Artful Gallery. Let's see if I can get this open. I always love looking at their papers. Oh, wow. You can see, I don't know if it's gonna show up online, but this was a painting and you can see the brush strokes that they took the picture of. This one has Bumblebee, Flirty Flamingo, Mary Marlowe, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, So Saffron, Terracotta, and Whisper White. Lots going on with this one. So again, let's take a look at both sides. Oh, isn't that beautiful? What's on the other side there? Ooh, that pumpkin pie. I feel like I have it upside down. I love this and all the textures. Oh, gorgeous paper. It doesn't look like paper. It actually looks like a canvas and painted. I don't know that it's really showing up. Wow. Oh, I like that geometric design in there. Here we go. I can't wait to start playing. And then there are some gold sheets. It's acrylic or acetate. It's probably glaring. I apologize for that. Oh, that is beautiful. And they're different designs. So much to play with. It's like Christmas, early Christmas. All right. Now, the best part about the new catalog that comes out in January, for anybody that's not familiar with um, how Stampin' Up! works, in January they do what they call a celebration. Usually it's January to March. This year it's gonna, they're going to do it twice a year. So for in January and February, this is the celebration brochure. It starts January 5th through the end and for every $50 you purchase you can select an item out of this special catalog 
and I have a few items to show you. One of them is paper. It is called uh, Flower and Field. So this is a celebration item that you can only get with a purchase of $50 or more. Ooh. Boy, these are so pretty. Looks like flower is the theme. Oh, I love daisies. They're my favorite flower. Blue, pinks. So that is one of the items. And then this is another um, paper in the Celebrations catalog. And it's called Ombre. And this comes, it's a six by six. And there are 48 sheets in this set. And on this side, there is Bermuda Bay and Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Rococo Rose. So this would be the side that has the Granny Apple Green and the Bermuda Bay. And then on this side would be the Blackberry Bliss ooh, and Rococo Rose. Oh, so pretty. So we're going to have to do something with those too. And then these um, are just three of the stamp sets that are in the Celebration Catalog. This one is Heal Your Heart. It's got some beautiful sentiments on it. Uh, I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Sorry for your loss. Wishing I could heal your heart and some others. This one is the fun set. Darling Donkeys. I just think they're so cute. And then this one is Corner Bouquet. So I look forward to being able to play with those and demo them for you in December. And so I did want to let you know that seeing that next week is the holiday, our normal night would be Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve. But I will not be doing a live next week due to the holiday. But I hope to see everybody again the Wednesday after. And as always, if you have any questions on anything that I've showed you or... Um, you can always reach out to me and ask. And also, if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, if you don't currently currently receive it, you can do that by going to bethannstamps.com. We, um, right now, have been doing a newsletter about every other week. We need to get a little better to make sure that we keep you informed on any news. But I always appreciate you joining me. And I hope you enjoyed tonight's cards made with freezing fun. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye.